Yeah, hey, drop boy, woo, you on my strap Might be brothers, he a Glock boy too I done told them more niggas y'all kill That's a fact Heard your hitter wrote a statement What's up with that? Heard your hitter wrote a statement What's up with that? He ain't take the stand, but he still stuck with that What up though? You already know how it go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You dig. Pay Tupac TV coming out with you. Hey, look. This is probably going to be the last time I speak on it unless somebody say something very intriguing that I might want to respond to. But nine times out of ten, I'm done talking about it. The video did what it did on Instagram. And it went way up more on Instagram than it did uh, YouTube, surprisingly. But nevertheless, I made a video about Al Wu Killers. And quite a few people was pissed off, but even even more people like seen through all the, the comments and stuff that they was saying like it's clear as day the Supreme Court didn't just make this up. This is this dude's actual paperwork. You can go sign up for your free subscription, or you can pay the money to print it off. You can screenshot it. You can get a seven day free trial if you can. If you got a lawyer pen that you can put in, I mean barcode. You can you can go buy one of those. You go find anyway. I ain't gonna tell you where you can find that, but. Because they're going to say I'm continuing a criminal enterprise. But anyway, you can go find all this stuff online, man. It ain't nothing that I'm making up. This is all public information. And I'm going to show the shots of it. But it's like people just in stream, extreme denial that the brother who killed Al Wu didn't tell. Like, they in denial. And, you know, he, they say he's going up for appeal. I, man, what I do ain't got nothing to do with him going up for appeal. The facts is in this case, it's the black and white. Y'all act like I'm making up some extra details that I didn't know. And really, I could put out stuff I, on people and stuff that I do know. From this YouTube stuff has afforded me the connection, even though I ain't super big. It's afforded me the connection to people who know the inside school, like on that uh, uh, the photo twin that got locked up for the, for the body in a uh, robbery. Like I know extreme details behind that, and I'm gonna make a video regarding that too because there's certain things that I, the paperwork didn't say. But the paperwork didn't say Dale, uh, not Dale Ray, but me Ray, for two, uh, me Ray. It didn't say he told. It didn't say he made a statement. And his appeal stuff all up there. So the, the United States government not making this stuff up. Dog said what he said. And like I said, I'm going to post it. This for entertainment purposes only. I don't, I'm not a partisan on any side. You do what I'm talking about? I really think y'all buffoons that's out here drilling, spinning the block over some guys that you really don't even know. You're not even in the main circle of the clique. You're not in the videos up in 20, 30,000. You're just somebody on the sideline that admire these guys. You might see them. They might be from your neighborhood. But you really ain't with that. You feel me? And not, I, I say 95% of you guys without a gun in the game, you wouldn't be able to stand on nothing that you say. And it might come a time in life where you got to stand on what you say. And I ain't saying with me. I'm saying you might go to jail. And you might not be able to get to a strap fast enough. And you got to throw hands. I bet 95% of you not even willing to do that. Without a gun in the gang, a lot of these guys are nothing. You did on talking about, but uh, it's just entertainment. But we, I'm laughing. I'm or I'm entertained by this stuff. This is what I do. True crime stuff. It's it's nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? Nothing personal. Y'all, and then you make most of this stuff public anyway yourself. And then when somebody likes me or Swamp Stories pick it up, like Brit Baby says, well, some of us pick it up and it go viral again or whatever. Now nah, it's a problem. But she was just rapping about it 30, 40, 50 times. It's the truth. It's, it's, look at it. So anyway, I said what I said. Gave y'all the disclaimer. Entertainment purposes only. Whatever, you, you know, all the little threats and all that. I ain't really tripping on none of that. Uh -huh. it's, just, it's just facts. F almost for a minute, I was confused. I was like, damn, did I get the right picture or the right person? The guy was like, yeah, that's him. You know, woof. Woo yeah, that's him. Even when his own family member said, man, it is what it is. You you know, people can believe what they want to believe, but, I mean, you ain't lying. I don't appreciate you posting it, but, hey, look, it's the truth. What I think it was really, too, is that maybe people got calls from the joint, like, oh, shoot, check out dog paperwork. He might be a part of something. And, nah, you know, that that could be it. But it's all public. Like, if you got your, if you do your research, it's there. Nothing I'm making up. But, I'm going to break down what happened. Then I'm going to show you some of the, 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 the dialogue about it. Get my opinion on it. Then you get your opinion on it. You feel me? I want to see y'all down in the comment section. Okay? Got you. I'm going I'm to do this right now. Big fat T. State of Michigan Court of Appeals. The people of the state of Michigan. Plaintiff Appellee versus Malik Thomas Williams. A.K.A. Moo. Defendant appeals as of his right. Jury trial convictions of second degree murder, MCL assault with intent to murder, discharge of a weapon in the building causing death, discharge of a weapon in the building causing uh, injury, felon in possession of a firearm, and five counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. He was sentenced as a third offense habitual, right? 
to 60 to 90 years imprisonment for the second degree murder convictions, 20 to 45 years imprisonment for the assault with intent to murder and discharge of a firearm at a building causing death convictions, 10 to 30 years imprisonment for the discharge of a firearm at a building causing injury conviction, so on and so forth. Finding no errors warranting reversal, we affirm. Finding no errors warranting reversal, we affirm. So for the guys that saying this stuff about the appeal, the only thing possibly he can get back on is a time cut. That's it. I mean, and that's not really getting back. That's just getting the time cut. Give us some of that time back. Hope the brother don't do a whole 60 years and he can get down to 20, 25, 30. But we'll see how that go. Basic facts and procedural history. This case arises out of a shooting at, a, at the retreat apartments in Farmington Hills, Michigan. In the early morning hours of October 15, 2018, as a result of the shooting, Alex Ward, a.k.a. Al Wu, was killed and Malik Lewis was injured. Farmington Hills Police Officer Ryan Rosnick was dispatched to respond within a minute of the shooting. As he drove into the apartment complex, Officer Rosnick saw a white Chevy Equinox traveling at a high rate of speed. The officer had to drive a speed of nearly 100 miles per hour to catch the vehicle and perform a traffic stop. The occupants, Jameer Brown Gray, Stephen Davis and defendant were arrested in association with the shooting. In a subsequent search of the vehicle, three firearms were found underneath the center console. On October 15, 2018, defendant was interviewed by police regarding the shooting during which he waived his rights to remain silent and to counsel. Defendant contended that he, Brown, Gray, and Davis were in the apartment parking lot to purchase and smoke marijuana when he heard gunshots and drove away. Defendant asserted that he did not know the victims and had nothing to do with the shooting. On October 17, 2018, he was interviewed for a second time. Defendant asserted very little during this interview and maintained that he had nothing to do with the shooting during the interview. Defendant invoked his right to counsel and the interview ended. On October 18, 2018, defendant requested to speak to an investigator regarding the incident during defendant's interview with lieutenant richard webby uh defendant admitted to shooting ward and lewis defendant told lieutenant webby that war had previously shot up the home of defendant's mother as a result october 14 2018 defendant brown gray learned that war was at a family restaurant known as chuck e cheese when they arrived to the restaurant of drunk war he was leaving defendant and brown gray followed ward to the retreat apartments where they saw war going to an apartment building later in the night while defendant was with brown gray and davis defendant told brown gray to drive him back to the retreat apartments defendant confessed that he left brown gray's vehicle went up to the apartment building and when he saw ward and lewis inside the apartment he got onto the balcony of the apartment and watched ward once defendant saw ward sit down on the couch he started to shoot into the apartment after defendant was charged in the case he filed a motion to suppress the statements he made to Lieutenant Webby on October 18, 2018. The defendant asserted that he did not shoot War or Lewis. Rather, on the night of the shooting, he, Brown, Gray, and Davis went to a hookah bar to celebrate the defendant's birthday. After leaving the hookah bar, the defendant fell asleep in the backseat of Brown Gray's vehicle. The defendant remember arriving at the apartment complex, but his vision was blurry from the alcohol. The defendant asserted that he did not fully wake up until Brown Gray was pulling out the retreat apartment complex and they were being pulled over by the police. The defendant argued that his statements to Lieutenant Webby should be suppressed because defendant was coerced into taking the blame for the shooting by Davis and Brown Gray. Defendant contended that Davis threatened to kill defendant's family if he did not take the blame, and Brown Gray promised defendant twenty thousand dollars for a lawyer. Further, defendant asserted that he was not re-advised of his Miranda rights prior to speaking Lieutenant to Lieutenant Webby. For these reasons, defendant contended that his statements to Lieutenant Webby should be suppressed because they were not made voluntarily. The trial denied defendant's motion finding that defendant knowingly and intelligently made his statements to Lieutenant Webby. At trial, the police testified regarding their arrest of defendant and his co-defendants in proximity to the timing of the shooting and the flight from the crime scene. The investigation of shoe prints near the scene, fingerprints, and DNA analysis analysis of weapons retrieval of data including text messages from cell phones belonging to defendant and his co-defendants and the statements made by defendant in contrast the defendant testified at trial he was intoxicated that evening and merely present in the vehicle he claimed that any prior statements uh to the contrary were the result of threats and pressure from his co-defendants nonetheless the jury convicted defendant of the offenses pertaining to the shooting of ward and lewis at the apartments that night let's talk about this when officer when an officer interrogates a person who is in custody the person must clearly be informed that he has the right to remain silent and that anything he says can will be used against him in the courts 
Uh, further, a person in custody must be advised of his right to consult a lawyer to have the lawyer present during interrogation and that if he cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to him. Referred to the video, Miranda rights were stated during first interview. Once an accused exercises his right to deal with the police through counsel, he is not subject to further interrogation by authorities until counsel is provided. Once a suspect exercises his right to counsel and the right to remain silent, an officer may not engage in the ter interrogation without providing the requested lawyer unless the suspect initiates further communication, exchanges, or conversations with the police. Failure to read defendant's Miranda rights prior to each interrogation does not render his subsequent statements inadmissible as evidence against him. And you can refer to People vs. God Bolo, though. Now look. Now look, I do agree that the sentencing might have been too much. But you, you, if you think about it, that could have been considered first-degree premeditated homicide. But they probably took it into the account like, okay, he just shot through the apartment. He might have not intended to kill nobody. Might have been, you know. But that that really could be first degree premeditated homicide, and that's a bad joint. That's life without parole here. Life without parole, and when they say life without parole, it's like a ninety eight percent chance you'll die in prison before you get a commutation or a sentence reversed. Now, like I said, I think it's OV points as a third habitual. It might be too high considering his age, you know, and because they took into account the cycle. Of, remember, I told y'all like when you got these points and these sentencing guidelines, they can take into account. Did you groom your victim? Was it premeditated? Did it have psychological effects? Did it have injury? They could put all this together, get these points, and calculate what they're going to give you. They took in consideration Al Wu's mother. I think her name is Renita. They took into account her psychological damage from this situation. I don't know if that's fair. Like I said, I'm not a partisan on any side. I'm just giving you the facts of what was told. There's it's much more stuff in, in that stuff, man. I don't want to bore y'all. Uh... Let's go through some of these comments. You got Big Will. You got Big Will. He say, uh, my dog, who are you? You don't know what you're speaking of. I reply, I'm nobody but somebody who read court documents. If it's wrong, just let me know and show me where I can see it's wrong. He replies, I'll see you, little dog. The guy with the tight pants on. He'll see me. That's cool. He might. I don't, you know, you never know. Uh, the homie for life say Mook never told. I say, bro, I'm going to check it out again. I might be wrong. And if I am, I will apologize. Now, do I think Mook took the blame for it initially? Yes. Shout out to Dooski. Because when I talked to Dooski, we had a civil conversation. I just show you Dooski, Dooski messages. Civil conversation. But he just couldn't show me why I was wrong yet. And like I said, if I'm wrong, I take this now and I just I say my bad. I apologize. Uh, the real kill. Hey, you lame. Talk what the you know. You're not stating facts. You wasn't there, so report mouth. I respond. Can you show me what's not facts? All that's made up, right? This police statement's not real. Can you show me where? Bro, know what the f you talking about? Motherfuckers edit and rig, and it's like you just dish it out, whether it's true, halfway true, or false. You don't know the meaning behind sh that happened. That don't happen out the blue. My, it was a reason for everything. Bro got an appeal coming up, and they use dumb like this against people. Y'all not stating facts. That don't play with my brother's name, and that's all I'm gonna say. Anything else from here can get said or handled in person. Go find somebody else's name to lie or talk about. It's real demons stepping behind that name. Got to be smooth. Is what I said. One hundred. That's what he said to me. So they're going to look at my video and use what they already got. Something they wrote, they're going to look at my stuff just to clarify what they wrote. Oh, okay. Shout out to Dooski. We had, that, like I said, that conversation. Um, yeah, that's him sending the statements. All Dooski really says he ain't tell. <laughs> Nobody can show me where he didn't. And like I said, I need more of you guys to tell and get kicked out of the streets and be deterred from being in the streets and come on to this side. The civilian side, baby. Come on. We welcome you. We need some real steppers over here. Richard J. Don't Care say, RP Woo, y'all DS, that rat talking about free M dogs. It's the truth. Shout uh Rich J. Don't Care. Um, Dota Damn Thing, underscore 678. He cash gang, F him. 
and he told three different times, P-Boy. So I just, I'm not in that. I, I'm not in that. Gangs, yeah. <laughs> but this is what people saying. Kid, P of M, Kid, PV, Niche. So he voluntarily told himself, like, with no immediate pressure being applied, I heard, if I heard that right, that's a weird one. Yeah, but he said that his co-defendants made him tell. Like, I don't even think him admitting to what he did. I, that, I don't think that's the telling part. I mean, he told on himself, took the blame for it, I guess, or whatever. But the, what came after saying your co-defendants coerced you into doing it, they had knowledge of what was going on, and you was just asleep, or whatever. they threatened you. Deepest East Rail, or excuse me, Deep East Rail says, it's even wilder than this, though. They got pulled over three deep immediately after the shooting and a scat pack in Farmerton by one lone officer. And instead of running with the murder weapons aside, they froze up and all three people in the car got detained by one single officer. You can't make this up. Them little, this was not ready for that life like they thought. I bet they feeling it now, and I bet 20 years when they look up, they're going to be like, damn. Cause you, you ain't the, the all them little dudes and tell about we from here we demons all that they're gonna be either locked up with you they're gonna be dead or they're not gonna write you. you let a couple more years go by you you'll get a a, a a free mook post every every five years and they're gonna move on with their life y'all see it's a bigger story than this you all that stepping spending the block and stuff like that yeah it's cool to rap about but when you really actually out here trying to live it like the guys who not making no money off what they doing King Von said something man he said uh. Strap your nut on P. Ain't no bond money. We get locked up because we doing this shit for free. Ain't no cap. We doing it for free. Big P said, y'all say anything. His code of finish told it's more than one person that's on the case. So what? That's the one getting rapped about. This is the only one paperwork fully through and through. RX Slimy. Once again, yo, it's over here. Fanned out. These shorty don't never speak on your goofy. Don't know about lame free move. Uh, yeah, okay. Aski 777, that ain't snitch, right? He told before he seen a actual detective. Facts. It's all facts. Like, this ain't that made up, bro. It's all facts. Can somebody show me where I'm wrong at? But this is the last time speaking on it until somebody got something to actually. Just shut me up or something like that as far as like some actual evidence. But I don't want no beef with nobody, nothing like that. But I'm going to do what I do, and I ain't going to let nobody scare me off doing what I do. Because if one person can, this one person that, one person this, then you wouldn't have no content. Y'all didn't go to the Supreme Court and say, hey, take that down. You didn't go to the lawyers and say, hey, you better go petition. You didn't go to the courts who got the transcripts and say, take that down. You didn't go to uh, Officer or Lieutenant Wimby and let this sink in. Three men in a car with three guns just caught a body. And they get pulled over by one officer. If you look in the neighborhoods, right, guys will spin a block, shoot up your house with two-year-old kids and a three-year-old kids in it, gun toting, out killer BDK, throw the rakes down, dropping fires, dropping foes, but let the police come. They throwing a gun. I remember I was in an incident with a guy, right? He pulled out a gun, walked away or whatever, and then ran up with the gun, all the super tough stuff. And as he approached me, it's a guy that looks like an officer. He just had on a security uniform, but he thought it was an officer. He threw the gun, brand new gun, beam on everything on. He threw the gun and ran. Let that sink in. That's why I say it's buffoonery and it's just it's entertainment, and, and I'm laughing. Like, these guys out here, man, mm -mm. 